In the year 1900, when horse-drawn wagons still dominated the streets of American cities, a New York-based company, Frederick R. Wood & Son, introduced something revolutionary, the Wood Electric Truck. At a time when gasoline and steam-powered vehicles were still in their infancy, this electric truck was a bold glimpse into the future. Designed for urban deliveries, the Wood Electric Truck offered something truly innovative, a quiet, clean, and efficient alternative to horse-drawn transport. With no noise, no smoke, and no manure in the streets, it was a welcome advancement for both city planners and business owners. This early electric vehicle was powered by two direct current electric motors, each producing two horsepower for a combined output of four horsepower. It ran on 44 lead-acid battery cells, the only viable battery technology available at the time. Despite their heavy weight, these batteries were capable of delivering reliable energy for daily use, allowing the truck to travel 20 to 30 miles on a single charge. Its top speed was around 10 miles per hour, about the same as a loaded horse cart, but without the hassle of feeding and maintaining an animal. The vehicle featured a wooden body, metal mechanical components, and leather-covered seating. It was a robust and heavy machine, weighing 7,550 pounds when unloaded and capable of carrying an additional 400 pounds of cargo. Fully loaded, the truck reached a total weight of 11,550 pounds. This information was proudly painted on the right side of the cabin, alongside a golden number 157, possibly a serial number or fleet designation. Aesthetically, the truck stood out. It was painted black with rich burgundy accents, giving it a refined and purposeful look. Its physical dimensions were just as impressive, 171.5 inches in length, 93.75 inches in width, 119 inches in height, and a wheelbase of 121 inches. These measurements made it a sizable and stable delivery truck, well-suited to city streets. In 1900, electric vehicles actually made up nearly a third of all vehicles in the United States, since gas stations were virtually non-existent and gasoline engines required hand cranking, electric vehicles had the upper hand, especially in urban settings. No warm-up time, no engine noise, and no need for expensive oils. The electric motors were simple to operate and very reliable at moderate speeds. Wood electric trucks were commonly used for deliveries to stores, warehouses, train stations, and post offices. Some were even used by hotels to move luggage. Their main drawback was limited range and long charging times. But for short daily delivery routes within city limits, that was rarely a problem. And here's something fascinating. With 1,875 pounds per horsepower, this truck was extraordinarily heavy for its power output. That tells us a lot about early engineering compromises. Designers had to work with limited materials and knowledge while solving very real problems. The Wood Electric Truck stands as a rare but important chapter in the history of electric transportation. More than just a curiosity from the past, it is a reminder that many of today's modern ideas were already being explored more than a century ago. If you love vintage vehicles and hidden stories from transportation history, be sure to like, subscribe, and leave a comment. Let us know if you would like to see more electric vehicles from the early DZD Vincents featured in future episodes.